All right, Elon Musk's startup Neuralink tonight is saying part of its brain computer chip malfunctioned in this week's and this this week rather after it was first implanted into a patient's brain. 29-year-old Nolan Arba became the first person to let Elon Musk's company put a computer chip in his brain back in January. Neuralink in a blog post says some of the threads from the device retracted from his brain in the weeks after the procedure. The company did not immediately respond to request for comment. The te technology being developed to help patients with paralysis control things like computer cursors using only their minds. Dr. Natalie Azar is joining us now. Doctor, can you explain the role of these threads in this device and, and what happened when they apparently retracted in the brain? Yeah, so basically what happens, Tom, is that a chip is implanted into the brain and the chip has over a thousand electrodes that are attached to about 64 of what are called threads. And these threads are essentially programmed to gather what your brain is thinking, basically what kind of movement you intend to do and that then is sent to a computer that information is gathered and then it's decoded and those thoughts are turned into action so what ostensibly happened is that some of these threads kind of lost their positioning or retracted out of the brain area where they were supposed to be causing a significant reduction in the speed of of this sort of like transformation from these neural intents and these neural thoughts to actual you know actual actionable movement. But they said they corrected it. They said that they sort of tweaked the algorithm and they have it up and running and this guy is able to do even more than he was able to do before this happened. You know, the technology is so new here. Is yeah. it really any surprise that there's been a complication? Fortunately, he wasn't harmed, right? Right. And so, I mean, I think people need to understand that the FDA has approved this device for clinical trials. There is no regulatory approval for more widespread commercial use or anything like that. I think it's also important to note, to note that there have been some allegations about some quality control issues with the animal studies that were done prior to this individual being the first human, um, you know, that, that had this implant. Planted. And look, complications absolutely can happen, Tom. There can be uh, in, injection site infections. There can be, um, you know, reject, rejection even. So these clinical trials need to happen in humans to see that they are safe and effective before broader use and before full uh, FDA approval. Yeah. Dr. Azar, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.